Hello everyone, so doing a bit of a video <laughs> almost around the house. I've got all my, all my crap splattered all over the place and the mist is going shitty. Anyway, so just kind of give you a bit of an update where I am with the near eye kit. So as you can see, this is what I'm tinkering on with. Now, there's obviously some feedback that I've got from Paul Madison in terms of you know, the position of this, and I'm, again, I'm working on that. But I just thought I'd show you, I've got, I got these, and I made a, a, a cockpit. I thought I was ordering one of these, and then I bought a pack of 10. Whoops. So, so yeah, I've got a fair few of these lurking around. But the, the, the idea is, I've got some other, if I can just whiz this part quickly. And again, please forgive this, this is not, this is a prototype, and as all prototypes are, they kind of just give a bit of a feeling of what can go together. So I've got a bunch of these. And for those who have paid attention to my old videos of building the mount for the screen that goes on your scope, using a three and a half inch TFT screen, you'll see that I use something like that to allow it to connect to the bicycle clamp. So I've got a load of those around, and this, quite happily, Screws in there. Again, this is loose because I used a big bloody drill and made a screw up with it. But anyway, so the, the idea is obviously that, that will let be a nice solid mount. I mean, I know that that's got play and stuff. And then your camera will then go on that. Now, at the moment, I think I'm in a bit of a competition with the young Paul Elliott on the Night Vision Builders Group because he's headlong into 3D design and a, another variant of this of you know, position in the camera. Uh, sorry, yeah, the camera. No, wrong thing. The screen, see that's another bloody blooper. Uh, so getting the screen into its own individual holder and we'll do some tweaking around that. So, so there's all sorts of variants that we can play around with. But again, it's, I want to kind of go through this kind of, you know, problem stage, solution stage to try and just see what's going to be suitable for all. Because ultimately it's not going to be the best design for everyone. You know, everyone's going to have their own unique requirements for it. So, but I'll keep you posted. It's uh, it's coming along. I'm just, uh, obviously the reason why I'm not in the, the other room is because I've got the 3D printer whirring away and, and someone wasn't too happy when they cleared the printer whirring and can't hear me, my dulcet tones. So anyway, that's it for now. There's going to be another video, which is another subject, which Again, it's just me doing all sorts of wacky stuff, but hopefully this is gonna, the next one's going to be very much for the, I'm going to call you the geeky nerds, because that's essentially what it's going to be for. So if you think that you fall into the geeky nerd category, watch out for the next video. It's coming soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.